Now Matt is going to share his oboe with you. Hi everyone, my name is Matt and I'm here to tell you about the musical instrument that I play. I'm a professional musician in New York City and I'm here to talk to all of you about the sound of a very special instrument called a woodwind. It, you play the woodwind instrument by blowing air into something that vibrates and it produces a sound. This instrument, this woodwind instrument is in this case right here. So I'm gonna take it out of the case. It comes in three parts. There's a bell. There's a middle section and the bell goes to it. And then there's the top part. It comes in three parts. The oboe has what's known as a conical shape. In other words, it's very small at the top and it gradually gets bigger. And you spell the oboe O-B-O-E. Now it has one more part to it. And that is the reed. And I'm going to show you what a reed is. It comes in a case. I have a few of them. I'm going to moisten it in my mouth. And the reed sounds like this. Which is a crow. And my friend who's busy recording this, his name is Bert, he makes a crow sound. Tell us what a crow sounds like, Bert. So the, my reed made out of two pieces of wood that are folded together. It's, can you see that little hole in the top? That's what I blow the air through. No? No? Okay, well, maybe we can't see the reed in that way it blows the air through. But it does make that sound. And watch what happens when I put the reed into the oboe. There are double reed instruments like mine all over the world, and the instruments reach back to about 2,000 years. So people were playing instruments like this long before this instrument was made. My oboe was made in France, and uh, there are oboe players all over the world. We play mostly in symphony orchestras, but we also play chamber music. And I'm a member of a group called Quintet of the Americas, which has oboe, flute, clarinet, bassoon, and French horn. So the oboe comes with lots of what we call keys. And these keys cover holes that are underneath this certain key. So underneath this key is a hole. The instrument, if we were to take all of these keys off, all this silver stuff off, be full of holes throughout it. So this is what the oboe sounds like. And we tune the orchestra we to the orchestra to an A. And here's the full range of the oboe from a low B flat to a high F. So we go from low to high in the notes.
The instrument that I'm holding here is a double reed instrument called the English horn, or in French, the cor anglais. Cor meaning horn, and anglais meaning angled. So it has a piece at the top that bends a little bit so that I can play it. I use a double reed, meaning that I have two pieces of wood that vibrate together and make this sound. And then when I attach it to the English horn via this metal piece, this instrument is uh, complete in the way it will vibrate. As you may know, the other instrument related to this is the oboe, which I also play, and it's much shorter. The oboe is English horn is longer, and because it's longer, it makes a deeper sound. So, and you have my reed wet, and let me play a couple of notes on this. So as you can tell, it has kind of a deep sound. Here's the lowest note I can play. Its instrument, the oboe, by comparison, has a higher sound. Let me play a little bit on it. As you can hear, it makes a much higher sound. They're both made from a kinds of wood. This one from Grenadilla, uh, an African wood. And this is from a violet wood tree. It doesn't have violets, the flower violets on it, but I'm told that when it's cut fresh from the forest, it has the smell of violets. So we have the English horn and the oboe, both members of the double reed family the oboe plays high, the English horn plays lower. Have a great day. This is a piece from Colombia by Jorge Olayo Munoz called Mañanita.